Citizens of Ogun Central and West Senatorial Districts are divided about the location for the Moshuda Abiola University of uh, Technology, Science and Technology. The state government has set up a committee to review the matter as residents of the senatorial districts battle to host the institution. Kazim Olowe reports. Exactly a week after the people of Ogun Central Senatorial District through the Abe Okuta Club called on the state government not to relocate the Moshud Abiola University of Science and Technology. The people of Ogun West Senatorial District have also demanded that the structure provided for the proposed Ogun State Polytechnic in Okia should be used for the new university. Moshud Abiola University of Science and Technology was proposed to take off from the premises of Moshud Abiola Polytechnic Abe Okuta. But some stakeholders claim that the 40-year-old institution should be allowed to stay while the government should use the facility of the Ogun State Polytechnic in Bokia, which is yet to take off for the university. We do not need a protecting Ogun West. What we need is a full-fledged university. That's our position. And that's why I just told you we already have two public universities in the East. We have one already in the central, we have none. Uh, and so as far as I'm concerned, we want at least one public university in Ogun West. The students of the Moshud Abiola Polytechnic Abe Okuta also appealed to the government not to release the facility of the polytechnic. It will amount to foolishness to kill a 40-year-old king because a prince is born. Our position as students of the prestigious institution Moshud Abiola Polytechnic, is that Mapoli must stay with full academic activities. I'm in HND1, and I'm here to see my HND1 first semester results. This is due to the issues created by this Mount Tech and Mapoli. But the people of Ogo Central believe that the university and the polytechnic can coexist on the same For campus Malay, without infringement. Nothing must happen to Moshud Abiola University of Science and Technology. We do not have anything against Moshud Abiola Polytechnic. Let it be returned. Fortunately, the space, land space there is almost 1,500 hectares. It can accommodate the two institutions. While the two zones struggle for relevance, the state governor, Dakwa Biodun, said he has no intention to scrap the university, but he has only allowed the existing polytechnic to continue to run with its asset, while the committee set up by the government will continue to work on how to find solution to the issue. Kazim Olowe, TVC News, Abeokutawa State.